Okay, Dean, where are we heading today? So we're going to go to the Wiley Creek Pearl Tour. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get a tour. We'll get a bus pick up from here at the caravan park, so you couldn't ask for anything better. And pretty relaxing after a busy morning. Here we are at Wiley Creek Pearl yep. Farm in Broome, WA. Yep. Wiley Creek Pearl Farm. We made it. Would uh, would not come here with my motorhome. No. Nope. Some might push it. <laughs> that was rough. I'm so pleased we took the uh, the bus over there. Man, guy drove it really well. I'd get lost too. This place is a um, bit of a bit of a tough one to find. You're basically driving down um, tidal tidal flats and shit. Blue tours, blue, blue blue roads, red roads, and things. So yeah, looks like a busy place. So uh, we're in for a, quite a lot of uh, lot of information. Now there's uh, steps there. Usually where we board, there's 18 stairs there, and um, you can see our little walkway there is completely underwater. Uh, it wasn't like that this morning. We uh, had all 18 stairs almost there this morning. Okay, first thing. We're all actually boarding our boat uh, at 11 o'clock uh, there this morning. Maybe it is a female actually. Yeah, it's still there. Yep, I've got it. Just um, hold on. So, quite a good tour so far. We've um, been over the far side there into the um, into the, the lab, I suppose you would call it, where they seed the oyster and put us through all the explanation of that, which was good. Um, then we, the, we were showing a, um, a machine there that cleans the uh, cleans the oyster um, mats, and then um, we went out in the boat, which is heading back out into parking spot where we were out to a, uh, a buoy system there that you saw where they're um, hung in there as a, a layover stage and things so yeah it's pretty good. Um, we're uh, just having a tea break and to head to the, uh, the next part of the tour. So wandering down to what's been a, a big day, sure has. A few interesting facts I learned from the bus driver today. Um, a lot of the places around here don't have gutters. No, they don't. No, because apparently they can have their yearly average rainfall in one or two days, in case of most of the gutters don't handle it and don't destroy themselves. So that's one cost savings you can get from houses here. The other cost saving, he said that most homes were made with corrugated iron these days, or roofing iron or whatever it's about, colour bond steel or something, only because of its longevity. Um, but yeah, back to the corrugated, um, yeah, it was cheaper to transport corrugated around, it's easier, simpler. Um, what was another fact I learnt there? They don't have any post boxes here, no, no. letter boxes. They had a referendum apparently for some years back or something and everybody said, nah, don't need a post box. We'll all come down to the post office and come and get it. So obviously the poor post office uh, has staff are flat out. Um, what was the last thing that I, I thought was quite, oh there's big helicopters here, like really big buggers. Um, and I learned that they were used to ferry. So a decent view. <laughs> a view. <laughs> As if I wasn't enough, eh? <laughs> so the big helicopters out that I saw at the airport, he told me they ferry workers out to sea. There's obviously some oil platforms or something like that, so yeah, tick, tick, tick. Um, the pools, yeah, they were good. Was it two years to um, either um, raise a, um, an oyster? Yeah. And then another two years to develop a pool in one, and you can do up to three different things, so you got six, probably eight years all up for a pool. Yeah. So, what else do we need to know? Well, we got dropped off on the way home, 
um, to the market, so Thursday night market, which is just behind the caravan park. It was you wonderful. couldn't get off the bus fast enough. No, girl. the food was <laughs> yummy. The, there's lots of pills and there's clothes. We had the bayo buns and prawn, pork and chicken. And mango mm. smoothies. Yep. And uh, what else do I have? Oh, those, yeah, those nice uh, pork steamed buns and things, mm. they were good too. Yep. So yep, markets on Thursday nights. Anyway, back home, I'm thirsty. Yep. You too? Yep. Oh, I'll beat you there. Yep. Rorty ho. Well, we've been pretty busy here at uh, Sweet As RV Central. Dude's um, done a fabulous job of uh, rebranding the van. So, uh, yeah, Sweet As RV and Houdino. With a couple of suspicious looking characters. They said you get mildly wet when you walk on board. <laughs> it's, it's part of the experience. <laughs> <laughs> part of the experience. <laughs> Alrighty, we have arrived on board the boat, Archipelago Adventures, and uh, they're doing 12, uh, party of 12 at a time, coming on board. Jude, got a little wet. <laughs> got quite wet. <laughs> uh, yeah, we managed to be the, uh, the first on board, and uh, obviously first into some of the refreshments, so it's quite, quite handy. Okay, the next lot of uh, just arriving on shore, that's the uh, cable beach behind us. And uh, it's nice. Good spot down here. Here at Broom have uh, finished up and uh, we're uh, packed up and ready to go leaving the caravan park here at um, uh, the Discovery Broom Holiday Park. It's been good. 
and um, so yeah, we're going to head out. Got no idea right now where we've been before. Coming across the top of Australia wasn't too bad. We had um, sort of one direction to head in, and little points to see on the way. We're going down the coast, multiple directions, so we'll just feel our way as we go. So uh, stay tuned. Here we go.